First of all, to do this question, you need either a graphing calculator or Desmos, which you can download. If you haven't done so already, you should. Is this video sponsored by Desmos? Oh, I wish they would give me money. Or maybe just like, even if I would be happy with the candy. Like I'm pretty, no, not yet. I don't know if they make any money. I don't know how. Like all those free apps, how do they make their money? Advertising? Advertisements. But how much advertisements can people actually pay for? A lot. A lot. All right. Well, they haven't been paying me. Maybe if I get my videos past seven views, it'll be. Do you have ads on No, I didn't put ads on mine. Because technically, all of the stuff that I make as a teacher is owned by this division. It's not owned by me, because I'm an employee of the division. So I would be making money off my videos. That would be a breach of contract. What if you do that? I don't know if I can invite the students to my home and take the smart board. No, no, no. What if you did it after you filmed them? Oh, yeah. I could. But I don't think I'd make enough money that I made it worthwhile. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we have to be math teacher and fashion designer at the same time or something, or influencer. A fashion designer. Yeah. Drive really fancy cars while doing math. I don't know. It's not going to happen. Anyways, what you're going to do in either Desmos or your graphing calculator is you're going to type this into one equation and this into the other equation. It's going to look like this. So in y1, I type cos x. In y2, I type x squared. Now when you hit graph, you might have, like our windows were crazy before. I'm going to change them back. Like we had stuff like this. Just trying to remember our windows. Something like that. Your window, whoa. Yeah, you might have a window that looks like this. Yeah, you might. Uh, it's see like not there. helpful at all. So some things about making your window nice again. Okay, on Desmos, you just grab the screen with your mouse and just like pull it until you see what you want. More intuitive that way. Oh, Graphing nice. calculator, you can't move that screen. Nice. So the zoom button is really nice because zoom six gets you back to a standard window. And this isn't bad, okay? Some other zooms that I like, I like the zoom seven if I'm using trig. The zoom seven is nice, I like that's a little bit more zoomed in. Sometimes this works nicely, sometimes it's terrible. Is the zoom fit? The zoom fit says, well try to fit what you graphed on your graph nicely. In this case, I think it tries to fit too much of the parabola. Oh, yeah. And the coast graph kind of is squished at the bottom. So I kind of like the zoom trade on this one. But once you have your graph, you can go second and trace. Above the trace button says calculate. This is where you can calculate all sorts of things with graphs. Number five, which you can either push five or scroll down to number five and push enter. Find the intersection, push enter on the first curve, enter on the second curve, enter on the third curve, and you get an x value and a y value. Now, our question started with only x values. So the y doesn't, it's something we invented, it's not part of the solution. We just need to write that the solution is 0 0.84, 824. And the other intersection, because I know parabolas are symmetrical and I know the cosine graph is symmetrical, I could tell you that the other one's going to be at negative 0.824. If you weren't sure, you could go back to your calculator and do the intersection again, but this time your cursor has to be closer to the other one. Push enter three times, and you do get negative 0.824 as well.
Oh, to the nearest hundred. Oh, and does it say to the nearest hundred? Now I went to three decimal places, and I didn't need to. So I'd lose a... Lose a rounding mark to not read. More songs to reread the question. Yes, it's good to reread it. So the questions for practice, if you want, these ones will not be on your exam. But you do know, need to really know how to use your graphing calculator for AP calculus. It's really helpful.